Hey guys and welcome to Game Jammin'. Today's video we're going to talk about this Excel sheet that I put together uh, for you guys to see uh, more about the stats. So I think some of you guys have seen my previous videos where I did offensive heroes, support heroes, and then you guys just said, hey, when are we going to do defense heroes? When are we going to get an update on the old ones? So this is the update that gets you everything. Everything, including the new heroes, including Moira, and it will tell you all about the stats. Now, if you haven't seen anything before, I'm going to show you a little bit about the sheet, uh, and we'll just start off with one hero to give you an idea of what this means. So basically, I've gathered together, uh, so first, let's talk about where the data is coming from. Uh, I have worked together with the creator of Oasis, which is another project I've referenced in another video, um, and he's, by the way, he's getting his project started up, so I'm super excited about that, but uh, what we're doing is I've gotten data from him, uh, I've gathered heroes that have had play time over 10 hours, and we've collected the data, all the different career stats. And what we're trying to do is take a look at those stats and see which stats are most important for winning games and which stats are most important for gaining SR. Um, I don't want you to take them as, uh, to use them exclusively. This should be used in, in addition to other reviews, reviewing your VODs and other tips and information. Uh, but this is something that can augment what that, that information and give us a little bit more information about how the game works. So, uh, so that's a premise of what we're looking at. We're looking at stats. So if you look at a, like a character like McCree, you're going to see there's a bunch of data, a bunch of numbers. You're like, whoa, way, way complex. But um, what, what's going to end up happening here is I'm sorting the data by what rank a player is when we, when we got that person's stats. And then I've got a bunch of different stats that we've got, like melee final blows or time spent on fire. You can see this thing up here at the top. This is what I'm reading. We've gathered that information, and then that information, uh, and this is again by the, the Oasis creator has helped me to do this. He has already divided the stats by time, so everything is a per minute metric. Uh, this is to get away from the per game metrics, which aren't really all that accurate. You know, sometimes if you play a hero for half a game, then another hero for half a game, uh, the, the game can sometimes record that as one win or sometimes record that as zero wins. And it just depends on the engine. It's, it tries to be thorough, but uh, we're trying to avoid those sorts of problems by having a per minute metric. Um, just because that is gives a little bit more accuracy. So I've got all these stats to go through. And rather than trying to say, well, there's, you know, there's 90 stats. Or okay, in this case, there's like 70 stats to look at. Uh, you know, what's the most important one? Well, um, what I've done is put together some formulas to get us to a final result that shows us the correlation. Now, if you don't know what correlation is, it's um, it's a con a statistical concept. We are trying to find the relationship of one variable to another. So, uh, in this example, what I'm doing is I'm doing a, a relationship between SR versus all the other variables. And what we're trying to see is what has a high correlation because that generally ties into if, if X and Y are going up, then you know that's the stat that's important versus ones that don't seem to relate to each other. Um, it's not a hundred percent. It is just an indication that we should go look at something further. Um, so I create all these correlations. You'll see on the sheet there's some stuff that's labeled as green, some stuff that's red, and you've got also the white boxes and the gray boxes. Uh, you don't need to go through all these numbers, but they're there. Uh, and I will put a sheet at the end of this video that links to where you can find a copy of this. Uh, but any cell that is green has a correlation that is above the threshold of significance, which means it's an important number. Any cell that's white means that there isn't a statistical correlation that's big enough to be statistically significant. And that's tested off of a 95% significance level. Uh, for those stat nerds out there. And then finally, the red cells are negative co correlations that are also above the minimum coefficient. So uh, the idea here is you're going to see all these numbers, but don't worry about that too much. And gray cells are just like the zero cells or very like non-significant results. Um, so I've got this T value and P value. Again, you don't need to worry about it. If you just want to see the results, here are the results. I'm going to zoom in even a little bit further. Okay. So here we go. I have listed all the heroes. You'll see the hero here on the left. And what I've also done is I've broken them up by ranges. So what we found out after doing all these studies uh, and all of this work on the data set was that 
Uh, the different uh, players play the game differently at different uh, skill levels. At lower skill levels, certain stats might be more important than at higher skill skill levels because they're still learning how to use the character. Like at bronze to gold, you can expect there's some people who don't know how to use their heroes properly at all, and it's not there's nothing you know they just need to you know figure out how to use a bomb or they need to figure out how to use scatter shot whatever it is. If you go up to higher levels, it's less about figuring out how the hero works, and now it's just about optimizing the hero, which changes kind of the skill set. Um, so let's walk through some of the stats. What I got here is a green section and a red section. Uh, positive correlations are in the green section, and I've stopped at the top five. If I I was going to do like more than some people were like, oh, show all 20, and I'm like, dude, if you show all 20, then it's just like every stat is significant. It doesn't really help you. Uh, so I'm focusing on the top five stats, and then the bottom five, which would be the negative correlation. So that would be when a stat goes down, SR, or win percentage goes up, whatever it is. So, and that's the other thing, too, is I've got two different measures here. You're going to see, or all three. You're going to see an SR, which is what I was explaining before. But I've also done correlations against the win percentage. So you'll see here something that is a top statistic for SR may not be the same for win percentage. Um, so hopefully it gives you an idea of it, but let's walk through some of the examples that will make more sense. Uh, and the other thing too is note here that I've done the different groupings. I was talking about that before. So we've got bronze to gold, gold to diamond, diamond to GM, and I, I overlapped them on purpose. Uh, it, again, it was the idea is to give, I didn't want to give a really narrow scope because the difference between a player that's 2,500 and 2,700 SR is not very big. Uh, versus the, the gap between somebody who's in the gold range to the diamond range, which is a significant gap to say there's a difference between these hero, uh, these players. Uh, and then finally, you've got one that's bronze to GM, which is just an overall. That's kind of a catch-all in case there's something that doesn't make any sense. Um, but we got all the stats here. And uh, here we go. Let's go through McCree right now. So we're going to start with uh, the area that I think is going to be most interesting is diamond to GM, because that's where you'd say you're optimizing the hero to the top extent. Sorry, there was a hair. Um... So looking at this, you're going to see for the SR, what's important for getting SR points is critical hits, all damage done, hero damage done, critical accuracy and elimination. Now you can see a lot of these stats are kind of related to each other. Of course, critical hits versus critical accuracy makes a lot of sense because the more critical hits you're landing, that's going to increase your critical accuracy. Uh, another thing too is all damage done versus hero damage done. That would suggest that you need to deal a lot of damage. And of course, the more hero damage you're doing, you're also dealing to your all damage done. Um, and then eliminations. This is one is going to be all over the place. Basically, the more you're winning or the more the higher SR you go, the more eliminations you're going to get. It's just it's kind of a matter of fact because there's less like the fights go are shorter up at higher levels than they are at the lower levels where a fight can go on for a very long time. Um, and there could be like chaining of kills and that sort of thing. So looking at this category, it's pretty clear here. Now, what you, what you want to compare here is what's the difference between SR win percentage? Now, recently there was an update stating that at diamond level and above, that players were going to have a fixed SR gain as opposed to a performance-based SR gain. So what should happen the next time I run this in Season 8, you should see whatever this win percentage is will match what the SR percentage is here. So uh, on that note, uh, we should focus on the win percentage because that is going to be the stats that are important. And honestly, those are the most interesting one too because like we can talk about this as a as a trick to optimize your SR performance. But honestly, I don't really want to do that. If I'm playing the game, I just want to get better at the game. So if I want to get better at the game, I want to do things that optimize win percentage. Um, this other stat here is a max. is kind of just saying uh, adding up the two and just seeing which one's the best. It's not really that's not really scientific as much as it's just saying what we think would be the, the best if you combine the two uh, methods together. Uh, but honestly, I think you guys should focus on the win percentage here. Uh, so you're seeing here diamond uh, eliminations goes up. You got cards as well, which is kind of arbitrary because it's not we don't get any details in the career stats about what card you gain, just that you got a card. Uh, you also have final blows, time on fire, and then objective kills, and that's probably the most interesting one. Uh, you, a lot of times, you feel like the objective is not the objective is not as important as securing a kill. But this is kind of showing that actually uh, protecting the objective may be part of McCree's main identity or main role. 
Um, now, when you go flip to the opposite side here, we got the negative correlations. You have deaths and bronze medals. Uh, deaths is a pretty obvious one. If your deaths go down, if you have less deaths, that will be good for your win percentage as opposed to having more deaths is bad for your percentage. That Pretty obvious. You're going to see deaths are all over the place. Uh, dying is bad. We should know that by now. Uh, bronze and medals is probably an interesting one. Now, again, we don't know what the bronze and medals are in, uh, but it does give you an idea of potentially that McCree should be doing good damage that probably puts him at least silver or gold. Um, and that may be where that's coming from. So that's an idea what the stats look like. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll slowly through the stats so you can see some of the other ones. Uh, but then I'm gonna, the sheet's going to be open for you guys to take a look at. So I'm going to encourage you to take a look at it. And then the idea is I want you guys to come back with questions for me. And hopefully we can make this a more open dialogue. Where you ask questions about the data or trying to understand it. And we can go do deep dives and investigate. Because um, I've seen other types of data analysis done before different ways. And I've done my own data analysis and looked at it and been like, oh, that looks terrible in, in retrospect. Uh, so sometimes I don't know the questions that you guys have. Or you know what's in, what you guys think is interesting. So I want to go down those rabbit holes and kind of go, okay, we see cards all over the place. What does that really mean? Like, or is that important? Or maybe what happens if we got rid of cards and eliminations and then look at the data and see what happens? And that and that's the stuff that we can talk about and theorize and be like, okay, what's interesting? Uh, and I have I've also got the data sitting there. So I'm not gonna share. I might not share all the raw data with you guys, uh, but I have it. So when you guys ask questions, I can pull up graphs, we can pull up pivot tables, we can look at that stuff. Um, so, so you can see here, we've got the offensive heroes up the top. The, uh, so you got even got Doomfist as well. Uh, this is the support section. Uh, supports, it seems a lot of them, you'll see that uh, a lot sometimes so focus around their ultimates, which makes a lot of sense. And is very clear, nano boost is so, so important to her. Um, and then if you go to even like Mercy, of course, you're going to find that, um, now this one's a little bit interesting, De healing and defensive uh, assists are important, uh, but players resurrected, once you get past the, the diamond level, like I think everybody's kind of got that optimized, so there isn't really like getting more resurrects is better, because that means also your, your teammates are dying, you'd rather have them stay alive and you're just healing them. Um, so there's a bunch of other information here. You got Moira. Uh, let's actually take a look at Moira real quick because Moira is interesting because she's newer, of course. Um, coalescence healing is really, really important uh, for SR. Uh, but of course, coalescence kills. Uh, that's that's a good sign that you're winning games, and I, I think that's uh, it makes sense. Uh, but it's interesting to see how high up it ranks because I didn't know whether coalescence was that important or not, or if it was kind of like. A, Catch all, but it clearly is a, a very big part of her kit. Of her kit. Um, so going through here, we got Symmetra May. Oh, now here's the interesting: is you go to the defensive heroes. So defensive heroes: Diamond the GM, win percentage, eliminations, of course, Blizzard kills. That makes a lot of sense. The more Blizzard kills you can rack up, the better. Uh, and all damage done. Um, she doesn't do that much damage, but being very consistent with that damage makes her very, very, very strong. Um, go through here these are the defensive heroes and then finally you come over to the bottom heroes the uh, the tanks if you look at Arisa that's that's an interesting one to me uh, offensive assist I believe she gets offensive assist from using her um, the thing that goes grab and pulls things together you guys are gonna say it in the comments and be like obviously this and I'm like yeah that, that's right that thing that pulls things guys together but um, it's it's interesting you can see that and what's uh, what's also here you got multi kills as well so Take a look at this information. I'm going to give a link to a Google Sheet that will have the the this data as well as some of the uh, correlations that you see over here to the left. I think I'll be able to include that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, uh, it might not come out in the right format. Well, okay. We'll see what we, well, I will see what I conclude. We'll definitely have this sheet, so you can go up, look up and down it. And then the question for you guys is. What would you like to see next? Uh, would you like a deep dive or, you know, is there a specific character you want to look at? Um, the other idea I had was simply to look at Mercy and Junkrat. We we're seeing a patch. So I kind of wanted to explore, like, what what made Junkrat in his stats look good? And what should we expect to see to see whether he's in the right place or not in the future? Um, so those are some ideas. Let me know what you think. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!